He is, without a doubt, the most universally recognized and popular sports person on the planet. Celebrating his historic 20-year career in football, with a book that features stunning photographs and a very personal celebration of his playing days. Today, fans from around the world will hear from him live on Facebook and are part of his first global digital book signing. They will receive a digital autograph on their Facebook timeline. This is David Beckham. Welcome to the Facebook Digital Stadium. Everybody in here is very excited indeed. Hello there, I'm Jay Pumphrey, and welcome indeed to the Facebook Digital Stadium. And welcome, they're very excited, welcome to history being made, because today, from this room, we will host the world's first ever digital book signing on the world's largest social network. We're here in London, and today we are reaching out right across the globe into your home, proving that Facebook really can bring the world's biggest stars closer to their fans. And what better way to kick it all off than with the brand new book from the biggest soccer star on the planet. You just heard all about him. England great, he's an icon. Let's give him another round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, David Beckham. Uh, now this place, you're probably thinking, isn't the size of Wembley. It's not quite like the Bernabeu, is it? However, today it's bigger than both of those places because the reach is into the billions. Welcome to our very special venue. You have got front row seats, but quite what is the digital stadium and how does it work? This explains everything. Fans around the world were given the opportunity to be part of a unique experience. David Beckham's global digital book signing on Facebook. So how does this work? At three remote locations around the world, we invited fans to be our special guests at the local Facebook offices. Upon arrival, they receive a special RFID bracelet which is linked to their Facebook account. Not only can they talk with David through a live video connection on a large screen, he will also sign a digital personal autograph using an iPad from London. And of course, the fans want to share this special momentum with the world, which will happen in real time on their Facebook timeline, where their personalised digital autograph from David Beckham gets posted. All fans who are not able to attend the digital signing session in person can also choose to receive a digital autograph from David on their Facebook timeline after the event. Amazing, right? Isn't it incredible? So that's what the Facebook Digital Stadium is all about, and this is David's virtual locker room. He's been in a few of them over his career, hasn't he? Uh, and this is where David, as you can see right now, is sitting here, he's signing away uh, on his iPad. And not only that, he's meeting fans right across the world who are lucky winners in a competition that David ran from his Facebook page. Now, basically what's happening right now is we have a real-time connection to different Facebook offices all across the globe. Earlier today, David was busy signing for fans in New York. I'm speaking quietly because he's now signing for people in Hyderabad. So exactly how does David sit here and sign something for someone who's thousands of miles away? Well, you can see that David's using a tablet and on there is some special software. So as he signs on the iPad, the autographs then get delivered in real time straight to the Facebook timeline of his fans. Personalised, virtual, absolutely groundbreaking. So we're going to have a little listen in because David is now about to chat to some more of his fans in Hyderabad. So David, I promise not to butt in too much. How's okay. it going so far? Is it all right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it. It's uh, obviously a first, so I always like doing things that are different. Um, so this is definitely different and something that um, I've been excited about for a few weeks. I'm excited about the book, obviously. So um, to be meeting so many fans like this is uh, special. Okay, well, uh, your fans are waiting for you, so I'll just, I'll just listen in if you don't mind. Of course. Hey. Hi, David. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? I'm very good. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm pretty good. It's, I'm pretty been, good. It's, it's a real pleasure and honor meeting you. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you as well. And thank you so much for coming on. I hope you're going to love the book. Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm sure I will. So how are you doing? How is, uh, where are, you, are you planning to come to India anytime soon? Do you know, I've, it's one of the places that I've never been but always wanted to visit and always wanted to come to. Um, so I, I'm hoping now I've got more time on my hands, I'm going to be able to visit um, India because, like I said, it's, it's somewhere where I've always wanted to visit. Should we head over and chat about the book? Yeah, of course. Why I'm not? sure your wrist is starting to ache by now, right? No, it's pretty good. Good. What's it like signing on there? Actually, really good. 
Uh, and let's talk about the book. And, and here it is, I think, uh, a round of applause for a book that is summing up a wonderful career. <laughs> 20 years of effort, blood, sweat, toil. Yeah. What was the motivation behind releasing this? Because it's, I mean, it's jam-packed with snaps of your entire um, career, isn't it? Well, I wanted to make a, a picture book for... Um, I know it sounds cliche, but I wanted to make it for the fans more yeah. than anything because, you know, I've had a 22-year-old career uh, that's obviously come to an end now, and I wanted to celebrate it with pictures, mm. um, and pictures that mean so much for me. You know, I've obviously hand-picked every one of the pictures, every one of the images, everything that's gone in the book, every quote that's gone next to each image. Um, and for me, images say a lot more about a person and about a career than, than words do at mm. times. Um, and I think images, for me, are more important than uh, doing any other kind of book. It was something that I wanted to, to, to do. And I imagine that your, your family got involved as well. Did Victoria have a favourite photo that she was keen to have in there? Um, there's a lovely one of her and Harper, isn't there, together? Yeah, yeah. There's, you know, I love the one of, of Victoria and Harper. Uh, that's really special. But I think the ones of me and the boys walking around the pitch all the time, you know, you can see them there. I always, you know, even at 21 years old, I always wanted children at a very young age. Yeah. Uh, so obviously when I met Victoria, we both knew that we wanted quite a few children. Um, and... You know, we knew we wanted them pretty fast. So, you know, it was for me, I wanted my children to live through my career with me. Uh, and that's why they're so special to me, those, those images, because it's what I've always, it was my dream. Mm. It was my dream to have sons that, you know, um, live my career with me. And, and they, you know, they was there when I've won almost every one of my trophies. Uh, so they're the special pictures. But you can see by the look in their eyes, they, they were well aware what a special moment that was for Dad as well, weren't they? Yeah, I think, you know, there's one picture in, in, the, um, in the book of, um, of Victoria and Romeo uh, at that game. And, you know, they're looking really emotional. And uh, it was an emotional day for, for everyone. Um, but like you said, you know, to be able to have lived through it with my whole mm. family and my children, uh, you know, obviously my little girl is still very young and she'll get to know what daddy hey, did at some point book. yeah at some point she'll get to know what daddy really did as a as a career but um you know right now i'm i'm proud to have been able to have my boys with me on every time i lifted the trophy well look it's rare to get the chance to say thank you to someone who's done so much not just for the sport of football but for his country at world cups for america and the the mls movement over there so on behalf of football fans from right across the globe many of whom are joining us here today Thank you, not just for the book, and thanks for being here today, but thank you for the dedication, the hard work, and the incredible career that you should be so proud of. David Beckham, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. Thank you. But the bad news is the hard work carries on. Um, as, you, as you say a number of times in the book, the journey has only just started, so um, whatever's next, we shall wait and see. But what is next right now is even more signings. Yep. Um, and you are about to go live to Brazil. So if you'd like to make Great. your way back over to the locker room. One more round of applause for David Beckham, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So before we go back to our digital signing sessions, um, we've got plenty of questions from fans on the Facebook page. So if we make our way over here to David, we're going to sit and have a bit of a chat uh, before, we chat to, uh, before we chat to Brazil. Um, just talk us through. Talk us through Facebook from your perspective. You've got... 30 million plus followers on Facebook. How special is that? Um, amazing, amazing. When um, when I kind of I kind of keep going on and looking at it going up and up and up. And when it got to obviously 20 million, I was amazed. But then obviously when it got to 30, I was even more. And it's uh, it's amazing because it's an amazing thing to be able to you know let fans into some of the stuff that I'm let fans kind of see some of the stuff, some of the yeah. personal stuff that I do, uh, some of the personal pictures that I post. Um, and it's an amazing way to obviously 
uh, stay in contact with fans as well. Um, I, th I think it's the best, personally. Okay, well, it's not just about you staying in contact with them, it's them speaking to you as well. So, first of all, thank you for the hundreds and hundreds of messages that came in. Loads of questions for you, so we're going to run through a few of them now. Uh, the first one here comes from Jennifer Jones Munson. She says, do you have any regrets about your career as a footballer? Is there anything you would have done differently or anything you didn't accomplish that you wish you would or could have? Um, there's nothing I regret in my career. I always made sure that everything that I did, every decision that I made, um, I wouldn't regret at the end of my career. Uh, the one thing I look back on and I think I wish I'd have achieved is winning a trophy with, with England. Yeah. Do you think there might be a chance for that to happen in 2014, even if it's without you? I hope so. I hope so. You know, I always want our country to be successful uh, in big competitions. Um, and there's always a huge expectation uh, on the shoulders of, of England players, and rightly so, because we're a nation that is so proud of, of the game uh, and works so hard within the game. Um, so I hope we're going to have some, some big success. Good. OK, Louisa Gray says, when you're having a mare of a day, how do you turn it round and end on a high note? You must um, have a trick. Read a book to my children. Right. Simple as that. What's their favourite? Um, the Gruffalo. My children love the Gruffalo. Yeah. Um, the boys do, but uh, well, Brooklyn's a little bit old for the Gruffalo now. But uh, my little girl um, Harper just loves, you know, fairies. So she's all about fairies and princesses. So um, I'm reading fairy books at the moment. Nice. And when you're being lauded and you're signing autographs, travelling the world, doing things like this, <coughs> isn't it lovely to get home and to Harper, you are nothing other than just dad. You know, oh, there's the no best. airs and graces. It's there? the best. You know, it's what kind of makes everything kind of real for you. You know, this is obviously amazing and I love doing what I do throughout my life and my career. But, you know, there's nothing better than going home and sitting with your little girl and your boys and, you know... You know, I watched the Arsenal game with my son last night and uh, he wasn't happy but, uh, at the result. But I think, you know, those things are so special. OK. Uh, a question here from Andrew Pockstep Pockerneal, who says, will you ever manage a Premier League club? Now, we know you've said you have no managerial ambitions. Is that something that would change in the future, do you think? Um, you know, never say never, you know, because something might happen in 10 years' time and all of a sudden I might think, maybe I should be a manager. But uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's something that, like I said, I've never been passionate about being a manager of a club. Um, but, like I said, never say never. OK, we shall wait with bated breath. Uh, Alex Dumitrascu, how is your life after retirement from football? It must be strange to stop doing the one thing that's defined you for 25 I years. I mean, it's really... I had a moment about two months ago where I found it really difficult to come to terms with not playing anymore. But what I've been lucky um, to have is the fact that the moment I stopped playing in Paris, um, I was on a plane working on some other projects. Yeah. And I kind of have jumped from my football career into the business side of things. And that's what's kept me really busy. You know, I've been more busy in the last five months than I have been in the last 20 years so um, it's been it's been good it's been good you know I'm excited about the future I'm I've retired from football but I've not retired from work because I love to work you mm. know I have that work ethic and I want to achieve other things now in life you know before it was about achieving greatness as a footballer or achieving uh, trophies and, and being successful as a footballer. Um, now it's about being successful on the business side. It'd be very interesting actually to see how different the buzz is when you have your own MLS team and you're playing matches and winning games. Yeah. You know, the, the desire for that team to win even though you're not on the pitch will be interesting. Yeah, well, I, I think that desire's there. You know, that, that desire will always be there. Okay. Christian Nyona Hufato got in touch and said, if you're not being a footballer, what would you choose to be? I guess if you, if you hadn't ever been a player, what, what, would, what would your life have been? What would my life have been? Um, well, my dad's a gas fitter, so I'd either been a gas fitter with him. Nice. Um, or I'd have been... I love to draw. I love, you know, some kind of artist, so... A lot of money in gas fitting if you're decent Or snooker. I love snooker. OK. I always liked snooker. Uh, Kim Stenning got in touch on your Facebook page and said, in your career, what event are you most proud of? Can you narrow it down to one? What event? 
Um, it wasn't an event, but my trip to Sierra Leone with UNICEF, for me, that was uh, one of the most, not rewarding, because I think it's the, it's the wrong word to, to use, but um, I've been lucky to have been part of UNICEF for quite a few years now um, and been made ambassador of, of uh, the organisation. Um, and when I went to Sierra Leone uh, and, and was there for quite a few days, that for me was, was special. Um, you know, being part of that um, and meeting different people over, the, over in Sierra Leone, that was, that was special. Hi, Christian. Hello, David. How Hi, are you? how are you doing? Very good, and you? you? Just came to say hello from Brazil. Thank and you. Thank you for everything. Okay? Thank you so Bye -bye. much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Enjoy the book. <laughs> well, okay, Christian. thank you so much. Thank well you. done, mate. Thank you very much. So there you go. That's what we're doing here at our Facebook arena today. Incredible. I mean, what an amazing, amazing thing to be able to use modern technology to connect David up to people around the world. Um, thank you very much, David, for your time. David's going to carry on signing, carry on chatting to people uh, right across the world. But thank you very much for joining us today here from our Facebook Digital Stadium. I think one last round of applause for David Beckham, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks, David. Well, that's the book. And it's out tomorrow on the 31st of October, available at Amazon or, I'm sure, a store near you. And if you requested a digital autograph, make sure that you check your Facebook timeline a little bit later on because the most famous soccer icon in the history of the game may well have just left a special little something for you on your Facebook page. Thank you once again for joining us and being part of this groundbreaking event. David, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Cheers. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.